All right, we just want to say hello to everybody. This is Frontline Rewind, and we're at this. Is this Metal Fest? Is this what it's called? Is it called? Cal Country Fest. Fest. Southern Fried Chicken, Southern Cal Metal Fest. Southern Cow Metal Fest? I like that. Uh, is it what Southern? It? It's Metal Fest. <laughs> anyway, we're here, and guess what? Here's George Ochoa drinking uh, water and Ray Para right here, live and direct. So, uh, guys, how you doing? Doing good. Doing great. Good to see you, Les. You're here to good play to today, on. right? Yeah. Awesome. Now, we never worked this thing out. I'm not going to do the bridge with you. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, yeah, we're not even going to do the song. Yeah. Well, you know, and I've, yeah. been, I've been cut before, <laughs> so it's okay. Later. I'm <laughs> used to it. No, but it's no. really, it's always great to see you guys. What's going on? I mean, you're like in how many bands today? Uh, today, well, George, actually, I'm talking to George. Yeah, George, uh, uh, I'm doing a recon today. Yeah. So is Ray. He's going to sing about uh, two, two songs with us. So you're in two bands. Yeah. Correct. And then uh, Worldview, obviously. So there you go. That's it today. Awesome. Yeah. This is going to happen right here. And I'm planning to do Blood Good next time. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> maybe next year we'll be here. He wants to be the no, lead vocalist. No, he likes, they like using Larry <laughs> Farkas. And no, oh. well, we like Larry, yeah, oh, but awesome. we like George too. I, yeah. you know, and I have some pull in the band. So. <laughs> you yeah, do, I yes. do. I can yes. say, probably more than I do. Say Mike. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> what are you guys doing these days, as far as new music? Anything together right now? I'm gonna let this guy that sings for about 20 bands right now take the floor. And this right guy, now. this guy has take, got, okay. You, you can take this the floor. guy's voice. Okay, we're gonna be here for amazing. another hour. Okay, we're ready to talk to you about all his projects now. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and get some water. Okay, I'm going to see if I can count all the bands in one hand. Okay. Worldview. Yeah. Sacred Warrior. Yeah. That's about it. That's well. I'm doing another project with John Johnson, who's our second guitar player for our last two Sacred Warrior albums. But that's kind of been like on the back burner. Mm -hmm. um, we've been working on the second Worldview album for a while. And then Sacred Warrior asked me to do an album with him. And we talked about it. And George is like, go ahead and do that album. And then we'll finish Worldview. So I started tracking that one. Then George called me and said, I changed my mind. Let's work on Worldview. <laughs> it's kind of like a girlfriend that goes, yeah. go, 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 go so, see oh, other guys. Oh. Wait, you're going to see other guys? So you're Wait, busy. No, I changed my mind. I don't want you to see other guys. You're right, going to be right. in somebody else's studio? Yeah. Fire. No, no listen. I mean, <clears throat> oh, same studio? Here's the, no, this is the beauty of it. Listen to this. Steve Watkins, bass player for Sacred Warrior, yeah. is in Chicago. George is here in California. I'm in Florida. I got my studio set up in Florida at my house. He's got his studio. Steve's got his studio. We are tracking my vocals in Florida with Steve controlling my system from Chicago and George watching from California. And, and I kid you chime, not. And I'm able to chime in. Exactly, yeah. Chime in and, and, and help out. And, and, and you know, yeah. the beauty of it is it's in real time. And they can both talk to me like they're in the room right next to me. It's it's amazing. So that's it's, amazing, and that's the kind of world we live in right exactly, now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you know who's responsible for that technology? Absolutely, Obama. The Lord, <laughs> Obama. <laughs> yeah, Obama. Yeah. Well, uh, he was for a while. But yeah. <laughs> but so anyway, so I'm doing that, and then uh, we started doing uh, worldview stuff again. We just actually finished tracking a song uh, off the new worldview album that we're going to play tonight. It's called Babylon. And then, um, you know, just just working with that, trying to get both so, projects so is, done. Are there a lot of lyrics in Babylon? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you got to remember. Yeah. yeah. It's the newest song you learned, so. Yeah. I, I got to confess, I've been working like crazy to try to memorize these new yeah. songs that were, you know, it's especially like the recon stuff because I love George, but I've never was a recon, recon fan, not because I wasn't, you know, it's just, you know... You no, heard it live. Um, you heard that live. Hey, rewind that. that. Rewind that. We're not that. going to edit this show, so... Oh, boy. No, sorry. Go ahead. No, but no, I, I just... I, I, I listen to their songs, and I love them, but I wasn't, like, huge into them where I knew all the songs, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, when George and I discussed me singing tonight, the recon set, I really didn't want to do it, because Vet, his range is, like, here, and mine is, like, oh, here, right. or maybe here. And it's, it's difficult... You know, because like even like on the new Worldview album, I changed the way I sing. I'm not doing all this big screaming, crazy stuff, you know, like you still do. I can't do that anymore. You know, so I've, I've changed the way I sing and it was kind of difficult for me to work on this stuff. But yeah, you know, You're I still going to end up doing two songs. Today. Yes. Well, the thing is, yeah. is that, you know, vocalists were all so individual, really. Correct. Yeah. And there's this thing called placement. And I don't yeah. care what key you put it in. I right. mean, it's, you know. 
right. your max is your max where you right. where you are at home where you play out of or sing out of or imagine out of right that's, that's what you got and that's exactly. where it goes so when you're doing other things it, mm-hmm. then it, style yeah. and all that it's yeah sometimes yeah. you know different yeah the only guy that can do that is is the guy from shout ken tamplin he can sound like oh, anybody yeah. oh, in the yeah. world He's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to answer your question, uh, for me, uh, pretty much Wall Review is probably at the top of my list. And then uh, I got some other projects. <laughs> See that look he gave me? Yeah, just so everybody, saw that. So everybody knows, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not playing with Deliverance. So let's just, I'll say that once oh, and that's it. okay, so that's done so for that's a minute. It. And then number two is I got a project coming up with Mike Lee. Or Michael Drive, whatever you want yeah, to call yeah. it, from Baron Cross. So oh, we'll cool. see if that, that comes up, gets off the ground. Awesome. But like I said, War of You is my, my, main, my main thing. Okay. And you, I really want to focus on finishing this next record because I think mm-hmm. it's going to be it's gonna be really good. Okay, yeah, so I mean, you, I'm really excited about it. You this. also sent me a piece of music, and I'm sure you've already used it. You're supposed to co write with me, but you shine me and you never I didn't me. shine you. I actually worked. <laughs> I actually worked on it a little bit with my grandson one day. Oh, really? But I just, yeah, it was actually fun. And I he got was more going, what are you doing, you? Grandpa? And I said, I'm, I'm, you know, working with uh, George right here. And he's yeah. like, he doesn't know you. And yeah. he's three. Was whatever. that was that the remake of Jesus? I don't remember what it was. I, I, I don't, children. Yeah, there you go. yeah he wrote that. <laughs> but we're not done, George, because we've been buds ever since we oh, met. Yeah. And so oh, yeah. it'll happen. Yeah. I've got... I got a chemistry with Les. I love Les. Yeah. Well, Everybody awesome. loves Les, man. Yeah, that's true. I'm no, I'm no special. Oh, no, you true. guys. Come on. Praise God. We are yeah. we are brothers in the Lord. Amen. And Amen. we have got talents that he's given us. That's, that's right. That's right. That's for sure. And we use them for his glory. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, we use right. it for our own if we don't use it for him. Yeah. The thing about you, Les, we've been friends for years, and you've never changed. You're still the same godly man. You're still the Les that I met. I don't even know how many years ago is it still the same less oh, today, and I, I love that about you. You know, I mean, we all try to strive to yeah. to to live right for Christ and, and try to be good examples in that. But mm. with you, man, I would just well, I, I got the same thing. To you yeah, guys, you know. Oh, thank See, you. See, the Lord doesn't stop working on us, does He? No, oh, gosh, no. Do you way. like a couple? He of never reasons? stops. Let me ask you this: What are the what what's the songs that Worldview has done tonight that? stand out the most the one that you really you know you're going to bring to the table tonight because we, we might play it on the show yeah uh, we will do, play it on uh, the show you know most of the songs from the record and we're going to debut one new song okay uh, this one new song we are debuting I co-wrote with Michael Lee or Mike Lee or Michael Drive whatever you want to call him Michael Lee Drive but uh and uh, Ray recorded it again. I, I can't reiterate how amazing that is. That we're in three parts of the yeah. world and we're recording Ray's vocals, and that was awesome. We're going to continue to do that. Uh, works out great. Um, anyways, we recorded Ray's vocals, and he did a phenomenal job on it. Not to. <laughs> He's amazing. My head's growing. Dude, room, room shrinking. <laughs> but room, was it the room shrinking? No, but uh, but uh, so I'm excited about that. And that song's uh, you know just about basically. You know, the whole thing of, of the pull of sin and basically how you have to, you know, deny that and deny mm-hmm. yourself. And that's basically what that song's about for the most part. But uh, there's nothing, uh, I think, you know, we were talking about it earlier and, and, and we've always talked about this, how the first record really didn't get as promoted as it really should have. We had a Swedish label that just didn't really push it, to be honest with you. And How uh, sweet it is. And uh, so I still think there's tons of people that don't know about Worldview or don't know even about our first record. And we're excited to play that again and just have people, you know, new people find out about it. Well, everybody look it up because it's really, it's great. It's great stuff. And I got to sing on the first one. I was so happy. No, I I would say the same thing. I think we're one of the, uh, a big, highly underrated or underexposed band. Because everyone who has been exposed to you read all the reviews, you know they're all great reviews. Yeah. And but I just don't think we had enough push behind us. What are you doing in recon tonight? I'm gonna do dreams and uh, choose this day. Okay. Two songs. The first recon album came out in 1990. That's 27 years ago, man. Can really? Oh. 27 years ago. But uh, here we are. You know. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> So uh, that's gonna be a fun set, you know. Yeah. So, so we're gonna do most songs, uh, all songs from the record, from the first record. So. And then uh, "Sacred Warrior" is. Tell us about no. Tell us about. So, so well, we okay, were gonna so surprise. Tonight, you're you're doing recon 
and worldview. Correct. I'm talking to Ray. Correct. And then is that it, Ray? That's it. Okay. Correct. We were going to do a couple Sacred Warrior songs. We didn't tell anybody, but Bruce was going to fly out. Okay. And he was going to do them with us. Oh, that would have been awesome. Oh, yeah. From, yeah, he yeah. knows Bruce. He Bruce. knows Bruce. Yeah. Uh, but there was a conflict of interest, so he had gotten his dates wrong, so he wasn't able to oh. come. But we were all excited about it. It was going to be, it was going to be uh, awesome. But it's all good. It's good to be with you guys. Good to Thank be you. here, Les. I just. Uh, I've lost about ten pounds in this interview. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is the locker room interview. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what you need to call yeah. it. Locker room interview. Well, that's, I, I went sleeveless here because. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I would, but I'm all tatted up. You know, I don't want to show off my tattoos. <laughs> yeah. You know. Sexy yeah, body. Fired up, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, gotta keep that, you know, keep that yeah, covered. Yeah, just keep so. that covered up. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys, oh, man. man. Love Les, you too, thank you, right. brother. It's a pleasure, man. It's always right. a pleasure thank to you, see brother. you. All right, good. All right, God bless. Right, Frontline thanks, Rewind. See you guys later. Peace.
This is Frontline Rewind, and I'm here with Glenn Man Caruso. Excellent. The drummer from Die Happy. And? And Vengeance. Vengeance. Yeah, the original guy, right? right? Wow, man. Good to see you again. You too. Yeah. I've seen you for at least a year. It's been a year. Right? We did a we had little jam session with Doug. over there at Doug's house. Right. That was a jam. We did. Yeah, we actually did. Yeah, we made up a little jam uh, right on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. It was excellent. Oh man. You know. So how you been? Seriously. I'm doing good. Yeah. Just tell me to get closer to the mic. Oh, okay. Because I'm backing up. And okay, don't back up. No, I'm not gonna back up. Uh, I'm doing good. Good. So. Um, you're playing tonight. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna try. Yeah, and uh, we had one rehearsal last night, and. Uh, but you guys, you, you you know, you've got the CD, so you, that's you know your parts. All we've been right? doing is listening to it. But I've been rehearsing over at Larry's house on his uh, electronic drum set, and it's uh -huh. quite not the same. Right. Um, it, it's a lot easier on my hands. So when I get on the real drums, because I have a problem with my carpal tunnel, mm -hmm. it really. I was like, wow, that's a noticeable difference. Well, we just pray that uh, oh, yeah, during the show, I'll, I'll the Lord will heal you. I will get you. It, so. Yeah, you'll be great. Yeah, I'm fine. He's slamming it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah I, have to, I have to give it 110%. I can't just play light. I just got to yeah. slam. So what, um, um, what are some of the songs tonight? That well, you're we're some not, of the notable songs. So we're not doing... Uh, as you know, um, the song we had to die happy backed out the last minute um, just because he wasn't prepared and he didn't want to, you know, sound foolish up there. So we're not doing any die happy songs. Um, that guy, Kibosh. Um, Vengeance. We're gonna we're gonna throw some stuff that we've never done before or haven't done since we toured last in 1990. Mm -hmm. um, and the lineup tonight is. Of guys? Oh, it's, so it's uh, myself. Yeah. The Mac Russo. Larry Farkas. Yeah. Roger Martin, who just flew in from Nashville last night. Awesome. Um, I met Roger earlier. Jim today. from Hand of Fire, who sings with Hand of Fire. He's going to be singing the chores. Uh, I met Jim today for the first time. And then, uh, and then Doug Fink, who is also on the wounded list, but uh, he should be able to do it. So. He, he's here today, so that you guys means, need the healing power oh, of Jesus. Big time, yeah. It's like the, the age is really creeping up on us. You know what I mean? So. You know, yeah, just because I, we have, we're not, I do know what you we're mean. not active. Yeah, we're not active, so active and playing as a band. So, you know, we haven't played since 2004 as Vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> so we, you know, got to get ready. <laughs> it'll be like riding a bike. Man. Yeah, it'll be. It'll, it'll, it'll be just fun. come right back we're to you. Gonna be have, slamming we're gonna in have there. Fun and, you know, we're gonna we're only doing about seven songs. Uh, that's about it. Mm -hmm. Short set. Um, just because. Uh, Actually, and I'm not just an excuse, but I, that's probably all I can handle right now. Because um, I get, you know, if I start doing eight or nine songs, my my wrist just starts giving out on me. It's that bad. So. Oh. But out. So I, I said, you guys, just, I'll do it. Just keep it, keep it a short set, and we'll be good. So, Glenn, what are you going to open with? We're opening with a partial song. So we're doing the middle part of the song called I Love Hating Evil. Okay. And we're just doing, there's a middle section. It's a real heavy, slow, grindy sec section. Yeah. And we kind of played with it a little bit uh, last night and made up some stuff that we added to it. So we're okay. going to be doing that as an opening right into Song Warfare. So, All right. And then uh, I think the lineup, so we got, it goes Warfare, then it goes right into White Throne. You Mulli got the list for me. Yeah, Mulligan Stew, uh, Mulligan Stew, Arise. Will it be ready by the third song? We'll, we'll hope so. Taste this Mulligan Stew, it's pretty yeah, good. Mulligan, it's very good. <laughs> you guys are cooking it back here. Uh, well, it's hot enough in this room, you could probably cook it in here. Yeah, yeah. especially with our personalities Ooh, back here. Woo! Uh, so, yeah, so Mulligan Stew, then we're doing a song called Arise, which we haven't done since the 1990 tour. Um, then Burn. And then okay. um, Don't they, burn we're ending with another song which Let's we do haven't them. done in years, which is uh, Frontal Lobotomy. Okay. And then so that'll definitely uh, yeah. mix things and, up. And then you know if we we can pull it off, we'll end up doing Human Sacrifice, 
which is the title album. Yeah. And that's a song, folks. We're, yeah. They're not actually going to sacrifice anybody on well, stage. Who, yeah. who, we got any volunteers? It's a Christian show. Okay, well. <laughs> Everybody volunteers. If you want well, even less, if you did, it wouldn't be Christian. Less, you want to volunteer? No, no I don't. All I don't right. want to volunteer. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Awesome. You know? But we're, you know, we'll have so, fun and... It was all for Dale anyways, you know, so yeah. his family, that's the most important thing. And uh, did you know Dale personally? Um, I didn't know him on a personal level, mm -hmm. um, only, you know, talked to him at different uh, shows, mm -hmm. you know, so known through the music and through, through the, yeah. you know, when I'd see him at a show or something like that, that's, that, that's about the extent of it. Yeah. We didn't talk on the phone or anything like that, mm -hmm. so... Well, it's good that we uh, uh, a lot of people came together because of of Dale and yeah. for his love, first of all for Jesus, Absolutely. and then he was very active in the metal scene and yeah, yeah. So we're here today honoring his life. Yeah. yeah. So cool, man. Uh, you got the uh, you got the regular skins out there tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan of electronic drums. No. They served a purpose for. For, yeah, in somebody's bedroom, right? And, yeah, Larry's bedroom. <laughs> but, yeah, no, was, now, the first time I rehearsed with Larry when they played with Bloodgood last year, him and Terry, yeah. it was in, I think it was in a uh, bedroom at Terry's house. Oh, yeah, was it? So, yeah, so what's with Larry Farkas? He's always, like, rehearsing in, in bedrooms and stuff. I don't know. I mean, he's, usually you get rehearsal halls, but I think not with Larry. I think that's his calling in life. Yeah, I, I didn't. Rehearsing. Matter of fact, we, were, we rehearsed last night. Is where you guys rehearsed the the ones the record the rehearsal studio. Oh, we were right. yeah, we were in the same room. Oh, okay, we got one over there in uh, by our house. So Larry was great with us last year, but he blew my mind because we did. I mean, he was like, he was all over the stage, and yeah. I was thinking, all oh, right. I mean, yeah, this was like David Safiro days. Yeah, yeah, he's Larry. When he gets on stage, he likes to perform. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. he is great. Yeah, and you guys sounded he's, great too. So it was, wow. it was an awesome show. It was year. fun, man. It was yeah. a lot of fun. That was last year. Was it last year? Yeah, a year ago. So. Yeah. I believe it was. Maybe it was. Yeah. You? yeah, you know, it goes fast, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, fortunately, too fast. It's like just one year after another, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. All right. So, anything else on the on the horizon as far as music? Um. um um, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's kind of up in the air. I know that Jim, Jim was talking about. I guess the record company he was with was thinking about maybe wanting to do something with us. So maybe we'll start writing some songs with him. That would be great. Yeah, you know. So your fans would love it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we do. We got to do something. We haven't done anything in a while. You know, we all talked about. You know, hey, we're getting older. Let's do something. Yeah. You know, before we can't. Yeah. You know, hopefully, well, we, hopefully that time is far, far away. Far, far away. Yeah, far, far Absolutely. away, you know. But, so, that's about it. Well, I know that um, my son really liked your band, Vengeance. Yeah, I remember you were yeah, talking about that. He really liked, now. really liked that band. He came, Dad, look at this, look at this album cover. It had the, you know, the hand of Jesus with the spikes. Bob's hand. Yeah. Pastor Bob. Was it, was it Pastor Bob? That's Pastor Bob? Bob's hand, yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah, and he just, he loved it. And I thought, man, these guys are, you just look heavy, heavy sounding. Yeah, so, I think, and we did our first, was it our first show? We played with you guys at the, I think the our first bicycle show. bicycle arena the, thing? Uh, Metal Mardi Gras. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That was a cool show, yeah, man. Yeah, that was our very, very first show. I mean, some of the songs didn't even have lyrics. He was making them up as he went. I mean, that's how new it was, so. Wow. So, um, we're, we're, uh, going to listen to you guys tonight, but also we're going to play some stuff off of your set list. Yeah. So would you introduce one of the songs for us right now? Sure. What song are we going to do? Whichever song you want to introduce off that set list. Warfare. There it is.
Okay, so listen, guys, this is uh, Frontline Records Rewind, and I'm here uh, doing this live interview with Roger Dale. Thank you. Yeah, hi, Roger Dale. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, and Doug Theme. Hello. Doug plays guitar, and Roger plays bass, and uh, Roger flew in from Nashville. Yep, Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, it's good Good to have you here. Now, are you going to do uh, Die Happy or Vengeance Rising tonight, both? What are you guys doing, both uh, stuff? It's going to be basically a Vengeance set. Uh, basically no Die vengeance. Happy this time around. We're just going to focus on Vengeance. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you mean that, that being the title of the of the band, right? The Vengeance. The band yes. is Vengeance. You yes. guys aren't actually going to focus on Vengeance, are you? <laughs> just <laughs> play on words. Oh, okay. Yeah, my producer's laughing, but... Not real, not real <laughs> not hard, <really. laughs> not real hard. Ooh, it's hot in here. So, did you guys rehearse? You ready we did to rock? Last night we had a rehearsal last night, and it went very well. Uh, you know, there's a couple of things you got to iron out anytime that you hadn't played together in like forty-five thousand years. Uh, yeah. But it, it, what's, real, it's, what's funny about it is once you start playing, everything returns. Yeah, you've probably done that with your yeah. blood. Girl. Yeah, it's like uh, riding a bike. Person, all of a sudden, men, and then toward the end, we're actually getting tight. Yeah, and it's amazing. So uh, I experienced that last night, and uh, just the fellowship of being with everybody is more That's wonderful cool. than anything. Well, you got those, you got the CDs. You can listen to them. You've listened to them for years because you know, you know the stuff. So yeah, that's cool. Now, do you play a lot in uh, Nashville? Uh, yeah, I do the uh, church circuit. I, actually, I've, I've been playing the Nashville church circuit for a long time. When I say circuit, whenever I'm in a, I'll, I'll be in a church for a while, and I'm always, uh, always playing uh, bass guitar or electric guitar, whichever one they need. Uh, right now, uh, I've been in one church for like five years. Uh, it's, it's very challenging to me musically. A lot of times they'll hand me cheat sheets, not cheat sheets, but actually lead sheets and say, here you go, go for it. Uh -huh. We're going to rehearse Wednesday night. We're doing the gig Sunday. And um, I like it. It keeps my musical chops up. And serving the Lord, still serving the Lord. Man, that's yeah. what it's all about. Now, when you guys came out with Vengeance Rising, that was, I mean, that, that, that album blew a lot of people away. It was heavy. It was heavy, it was intense, it was like, and uh, I don't know, it was like pioneer type stuff. Definitely for Christian music, right? Yeah, th there was not a lot on the market like that at the time. I mean, there, there was always the mentors that we had, like Bloodgood and uh, like Messiah Prophet and stuff where we, we had our, our, there's the legacy bands out there that really kind of inspired us to be in the music too, but uh, yeah, we kind of took it to a different level in the sense that there wasn't a lot of aggressive metal bands out there for speed metal type stuff. And, mm. and that's the direction. We, we wanted the thrash type music, the, the really raw, intense type feel to it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now we did play a, a gig together, didn't we? Blood Good and, and uh, Vengeance Rising. It was at the Bicycle Arena or something? What, 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 oh, the first Mardi Gras thing. Oh, the Metal Mardi Gras. Metal Mardi Gras. And you had really long, straight, blonde hair. Is that correct? Yeah, that that was a while back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and your neck looks like it's in pretty good shape. But, I mean, you know, because you were whipping your head you're, around. You're my inspiration, Les. You, know you, you were are. whipping your head around, baby. <laughs> I am telling you. Woo, Roger. When it, it comes to that first album, it was all about perfect timing. Uh, sooner or later... Orange County Punk was going to get with L.A. Metal and, and make it yeah. speed metal, and that's what happened. And we were right on top of it. We had the Crucified that was doing kind of punk, and then one bad pig was doing uh, that kind their, their thing. Their, yeah. they, they had a classification by themselves, but for us, uh, we were the very first. And yeah. a lot of people were quite shocked. In fact, the Sanctuary crowd was, there was a lot of Sanctuary people said, uh, even Bob Beeman after the first show was like, well, I don't know you guys, you might be taking a little bit too far. But that was the signal to us that we're, we're right on schedule. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so. I thought it was, I thought it was really, really cool. Yeah, I mean, I was side stage. Yeah, I, on our first <laughs> tour from that album, we would go into small towns and there would be people protesting us playing in their town because yeah. we were kind of too edgy for them and they didn't see us as true Christians at that time. And so yeah. there's obstacles to overcome just in bias. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what that means, uh, true Christian or what. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you're proclaiming Christ and you love Jesus, I mean, that's, that would be Christian. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I've been under a pastor, his name is Josh Kugel. And uh, when he was in seminary, he drove everybody crazy with our stuff. And he told a story uh, not too long ago. He told us, look, my dad seized all my stuff and he separated it. He said, now this is okay, which was stroper, and this is not okay. This is of the devil. And of course, Vengeance Rising was one of those. Just because of uh, the preconceived idea of how the devil sounds mm. uh, and just the yeah. intensity of our music. But, um, you know, what we did, it was all mm, any kind of vocals that we that we did was undecipherable. You, could, you just couldn't. You just couldn't understand it, so it was the word of God. They were reading it. Yeah, yeah you had to um, print the it lyrics. Out. Every every album we put out, it, we that was the main thing was uh, word of God and lyrics and and uh, Martinez. He put it together. It was fantastic. Uh, so they were reading the word of God and they got saved. Uh, yeah, that's how it all works. Because the word does not yeah. return void. Yeah. The word is the word. It is, and the oh, gospel is. Yeah, current. and for some reason, the, the, this whole genre is still alive today. You know. Uh, my son says, listen to the new stuff, and I'm going to sound like just what we did. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, th there is some variations and stuff like that, but uh, uh, it's just still alive, which uh, it's kind of surprised me. But even my dad and mom and dad said, you know, rock and roll is not here. It's, you know, it's dead. It's not going to last but three or four more years. Well, the, even this speed metal thrash stuff has lasted a long time. It's still here today. Yeah. Well, and Frontline has done a great job with uh, especially Adele. Meisenheimer, who has pushed our music, and yeah, I like to thank her every chance I get because Absolutely. she's out there just really in the trenches, you know, making it happen. So that's awesome. So what's what's on the agenda for you guys tonight? Are you you're playing right? Yes. You are playing. Yes. You feeling good? Yeah. Okay. Feeling up to it? Yeah. yeah all right. <laughs> and uh, so you, your set list. Now, it was I correct? Glenn said you had about seven tunes tonight that you're doing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's it's all four original members tonight, and we've got a special guest singer, Jim Settle from Hands of Fire, which we're excited about. Uh, we're just going to go out there and do what we've always done. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that's always success, and I'm excited to see everybody here. Uh, you know, I'm very excited about the any gig, and especially this one, because we got a lot of support. We're, we're um, promoting a, a 30 year anniversary of Human Sacrifice. The uh, the demo tape, which I'm very proud of, um, that's going to be sold tonight, too. That started everything, and, and so tonight oh, is a cool. celebration uh, of what we did, a celebration of today, and a celebration of what can happen in the future. Yeah, and I'll tell you, the new fans are going to love it, because they're a whole generation. So. <laughs> or is it two generations? I don't know. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed is, like, uh, metal musicians, we don't have to be 20 years old to succeed. I look at a lot of these guys that are playing now, and they're just, I mean, we're the same age. I'm like, well, my gosh, uh, the fans, they never die. And uh, there's there's some people, it's like metal, that's it. And that's all that's all they're going to listen to Yeah. until uh, they're, you know, six feet under the ground, you know. Right. That's, that's the gig. And so I'm excited about that. I don't feel like I'm out of touch with, with anything. I don't feel old, which I'm not. And in fact, it, there's... I don't see anybody old at this show. Well, you know, we're going to live forever. So we're rather young, actually. Yeah, well, you can't stop the clock, but still, we're, we're, we're kicking butt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And we're taking names also. <laughs> and we're, hopefully they're getting in the Lamb's Book of Life, right? In his book. So, um, yeah, well, it, it's, it's good to see you guys. And uh, where's Larry Farkas? That's the big question of the day. Uh, we try not to ask that until the last minute. Okay, yeah. Cause, but uh, he, he takes care of his brother. His brother's got a lot of... Uh, yes, yes. And he is just a servant. And he, He's a sweet his man, His whole isn't life he? has been dedicated to loving and caring for his brother, so... Yeah. We, yeah. we know he's got all his right intentions there, and so he'll be here. Yes, he's he's a good man. He'll be here. He's he's spreading the love. I'll tell you, he, he is a servant, and he always has been a servant, and he is the most honest man on the face of the earth. Um. I've always felt that, and he's got a lot of love in his heart, and he, he like Doug said, he sacrificed his whole life to take care of his brother, mm -hmm. and he's still doing it today, and that's why he's not right here right now. He's got to take care of business at home. As soon as he has a chance to get away, boom, he's here. We're going to do the gig. You know what? I feel that from you guys, too. Uh, when I did the first interview over at your house, Doug, I felt that. I felt the respect and the love for one another that uh, it was very pleasing to God, the brothers that— uh, 
that love each other and are in unity. That's awesome. So what a pleasure it is to be with you again. So rock on tonight. Thank you so Thank you much. Very much. All right. That's it for Frontline Rewind with these guys. Vengeance cool. rising. And you know, we're all going to die happy one day. It's Les Carlson with Chaotic Resemblance. What's up, Travis? Travis, what's up, man? What's up, Les? In L.A. Hey. Yeah, you know, this is Les Carlson from Frontline Rewind. And uh, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but uh, Chaotic Resemblance and Bloodgood got together last year. And we did a show in uh, Iowa. At, it was what was the bash on the farm? Bash on the farm. Bash on we the farm. Yeah, we did. We bashed it. It was so much fun, man. And, <laughs> and uh, just hanging out and rehearsing together. Uh, you know, it, it's it's really been a pleasure knowing you guys. And you guys preach the gospel, so yes, sir. that's good. So uh, yeah, let me ask you, you're playing today, right? At, yeah, uh, around 6.20. Yeah, 6.20, I yeah, do believe. Cool, 6.20, <laughs> you got a big set going yeah, on? Yeah, uh, about 45 or something. Yeah, muy grande. Muy grande? Yeah, muy grande. Yeah, muy grande. Mu- oh, muchis. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens, you know. We've it's been, a bilingual group here. We've, uh, we've been playing for the last, like, I don't know, three or four days now with out fail so the old voice is getting a little rusty but you know what if uh if it, if it gives out i'll just preach for 45 what rhymes with rust <laughs> but you know what that just it makes it more rock exactly so it doesn't yeah. matter it's just raw the grittier know. the better than this crowd i think <laughs> <laughs> i love it well you guys uh 
you know, you remind me so much of uh, Bloodgood in the younger days. And, uh, and so uh, besides the fact that we just like each other as human beings and brothers in yeah. the Lord, uh, there's so mm -hmm. many resemblances there. So I highly recommend Chaotic Resemblance. So, guys, what, what are some of your influences? Uh, well, Why did you get into Christian metal anyway? Well, well, of course, Blood Good and uh, Striper and bands like that are the the bands that I think those are probably the two bands that everybody would name for oh, pav yeah. pavers of the way, you know what I mean? But, oh, man, I know with me personally, like, I grew up listening to stuff like The Gaithers when I was first coming into just listening to music. I loved that stuff. Then, then when I got older, I listened to, like, you know, Audio Drillin' and, and uh, newsboys and bands like that, DC Talk. And then when I hit, like, I don't know, maybe 12 or something, I found about metal. <laughs> like, oh, you guys yeah. kind of metal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, this feels like home. <laughs> and that's just where I've been, man. I don't know. There's just something something about guitar solos, something about that high, you know, mm. that high scream mm. in the vocals yeah. that, you know, you don't hear very much of these days anymore. And, mm. and I was just, I would... I, I remember I would just pray. I pray to God, just like the song says. And I and I would say, God, if it, if it's your will, please, please let me be able to hit those Les Carlson screams one of these days, or Michael Sweet screams, or any something like you know what I mean. And I would, and, and one day I don't know, it's just like download, and I just. Well, Travis, you got a very unique rock voice, so that's that's really great. I, I love it. L.A., where'd you meet this guy? This guy, well, we went to the same high school and, and really, yeah, Share a locker or something. Yeah, no, no, he was he was great ahead of me, and he was like, you know, the, the cool guy in the rock band, and I was like, not the cool guy without the rock band. Yeah, but, and then I thought I was a cool guy with a rock band, but it was not a cool rock band. But, he, but then what happened? But then, uh, you like became we played a cool shows guy. together before, and then like my old bass player got hooked up with him, and then he bugged him enough to give me a shot. And then I jumped on board, praise the Lord, and got the gig. I think I got it right. You got you, okay. Yeah, you're still yeah. in. Okay, I'm yeah. still here. It's, so it's been like five or six years now, yeah. but we're still we're still debating. Yeah, on so the jury's out. Right. We don't really know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay, we don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. I saw uh, Travis preach, and uh, it was a couple weeks ago or whatever. Yeah, and oh yeah. my gosh, it was amazing. But it was also cool to see your brother up there behind you, L.A. with yeah. the guitar. Playing some just some soulful yeah. happening guitar music well, that was going with you, and the two of you really minister the gospel, and it was very impressive. Thank but you. more than being impressive, it was it was you know it it works. Yeah, it works because well, God word His word doesn't return void. Mm -hmm. so. I believe yeah. that you know Scripture says it in Isaiah. It says that the uh, the anointing breaks the yoke and. And this guy's super anointed. So, like, any extra anointing that I can get up there to help it go down a little easier, whatever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I don't know. Thank and you. I'm so used Thank to, you. you know, when we play our stuff, we'll, we'll, we'll stop and we'll preach the gospel no matter where we're at. And he'll play something pretty. And it's yeah. just like, if that's not there, it's just like, I, I, I go blank. So, I'm so used to, accustomed to him being there. So, when it came time to actually start preaching at, at churches and stuff i was like dude you got to do this with me <laughs> yeah i mean i loved it but the, th the thing is a lot of preachers do that they've got uh, some the organist or keyboard or whatever i'd really like to be the organ guy oh man <laughs> yeah. well, oh could man be. You, you could, could get be. the fire going with that it's just oh, gonna be tough gosh. to move the b3 hammond around with the, <laughs> oh, with the leslie worth it it's worth, worth it. Yeah. it. Oh, we've okay. got a separate vehicle. So Donnie and John are going to have extra work. Yeah, yeah they, exactly. can, they can carry it. I, I believe them. Yeah, I like these guys. I like this lineup of yeah. guys you got. Yeah, they're so. good dudes. Solid dudes, man. Now, you got. Uh, you just did uh, uh, some studio stuff. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, we went back in the studio with Oz Fox, and uh, we did our first record, uh, our, full, our first full length with him in 2014, and, uh, and just, you know, saving... Saving and saving and trying to be able to put out more music. So the beginning of this year in 2017, we put out two new songs. And uh, and what we did different to the team, which was really cool, we had Tony Palacios uh, mm, yeah. mix it. And he's, he's great. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. He took it from just like down here to up here just so with this good. mixing. And like, so we put out two new songs, Ride Anthem. And uh, what's the other one? Sound of the Saints. Who wrote that? <laughs> I don't know. You know, uh, Oz took me to Tony's studio somewhere 
outside of Nashville yeah, when yeah. we were there. And we went and hung out, and he's like this, you know, this guy down in the dungeon down there, just going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, he's a great guitar player. Oh yeah, yeah great shame. ears, so really, really, Packable. really gets it, you know. Yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. so we put out those two, and then uh, we went back in there uh, a couple months ago, and and we recorded three more. We haven't took it to the mixing stage yet, but we're just kind of trying to push what we got. But we got a we got a few in stock. We're we're trying to. Uh, Build up an army for yeah. an album. <laughs> they're, in, they're in the slow cooker right now. Yeah, they're, and one of them cooking. we recorded that we're going to have, you. Yeah, it, I get to sing, yeah. sing a verse with sing you. Sing a verse. And, and maybe some, some riffs in the end, Yeah, right? dude. Yeah. You awesome. just do your bluesy Les Carlson well, thing you always do. Do y'all thing. <laughs> Even though the, you guys are not frontline artists, because you were sort of grafted into Bloodgood, that's why, you know, we got you on the show. We yeah, really yeah, appreciate awesome. The fact that you have been influenced by frontline artists and, yeah. and that, uh, you know, that, that you're out there doing it. And I know firsthand that you guys are out there. You're, you're, your hearts are right. And I know it's not always easy, but you're always out there, you know, praising God. Jesus yeah. is awesome. He's so awesome. It, it's good when Jesus is number one in your life, Absolutely. isn't it? Everything seems to be Everything. right at that point. Yeah. It's just... He's amazing. <laughs> he is. It's amazing. just cool, man. We we played in uh, we played in Globe, Arizona, which is a small town. The other night, and uh, we played. We didn't know if anybody was gonna be there, and it's like the whole town came out. But there was so much like demonic stuff that was there, man. And, and we got there and we just preached the gospel and loved on them, dude. We seen shoulders get healed. We seen knees get healed. We seen uh, we seen. I mean, if people are so afraid of, of pagans and homosexuals and all this. Dude, Jesus loves every pagan, Absolutely. every homosexual. Yeah. And we seen those people come to Christ the other night. And it was just yeah. amazing, dude, because everybody's looking for Jesus, whether they know it or not. Absolutely. And, and, and so many times people have just had such a bad representation of what Christ really is. And if you would just show them God is love. And if you would just be love and, and show compassion, it just goes miles for people. Yeah. And they're like, what is this? And you're like, man, it's Jesus. Yeah. And then when you lay hands on them and, and their shoulder gets healed, it's it's just undeniable. <laughs> yeah. it's a, and then yeah. God gets the glory, you know. Yeah. And, and what I found, too, is, you know, sometimes we don't see, you know, people come right to God or we don't see healings happen right off the bat. But instead of getting discouraged, I realized that, you know, uh, the Bible is very clear that, that some some sow some some water, but God gives the increase. And, and you know, we can't do it by ourselves. I can't do mm -hmm. it by myself, but we're the body of Christ. So maybe I'll say something and then another believer will come along and just water yeah. that thing and God will give the increase. So it's, yeah. it's amazing. Because God really knows their hearts yeah. and he's got perfect timing yeah. and he's got a plan and he's the one that really has done it all. So, you know, that day is going to come when we all take the crowns that he's given us and Lay them throw them right back to him. It's awesome. Yeah, awesome. So Chaotic good. resemblance. Love you guys. Love, Love you, Les. Love, Love you so, so much, much man. Uh, well, Frontline Rewind, there it goes. Wrap that one up, and you guys have a great show tonight. Thanks, Les. Thanks, Love Les. you, buddy. Love you. Love you. Hey, Adele, how do people hear the music featured on the Rewind shows? Well, a lot of people like to stream music these days on Apple Music, Spotify, and other digital music stores. And, of course, Downloads are available on iTunes and Amazon, and if you're a hardcore classic music appreciator, some physical CDs can be purchased on Amazon and our own website, FrontlineRecords.us. Wow, very informative. Well, thank you. Hello, everybody. Frontline Records Rewind. This is Les Carlson, and this is Bill Rocks. <laughs> so go ahead and say, you're Bill Rocks, right? Bill Rocks. I'm Bill Rocks. That's, That's it. it. That's, <laughs> there he is. He's for real, and he's here today. Bill, I mean, it's good to see you. You too, Les. I told you a little bit before, but I'm just super excited just to be here sharing this with you because, like I said, Blood Good and yourself were such a huge inspiration on me in my youth. So wow. thank you for all that you've done. So. I'm so happy that God <laughs> used us for that. Yeah. What a, what an awesome thing. Yeah. So, so Bill, you also produce uh, records. You you did a, a Blood Good release, didn't you, at one point? You, we did. Yeah. Um, with the... Uh, Rocks Records, we've got quite a few releases under our belts now. We do a lot of reissues. We've been working with Adele a lot. We just did a, um, a Vengeance reissue. It's, it's making, his, making his debut tonight. Yeah. Um, we've, we've done Sacred Warrior, a bunch of the great ones, some of the Blood Good stuff, a lot of reissues, and actually a lot of new bands. The band that's playing right now, The Hero from Sweden, they're they're on our label as well. So. Oh, yeah. 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 So it's always fun working with uh, Adele, isn't it? Oh, Adele's great. She, she is, is the best. She's adorable. She's great yeah. to work with. Frontline Records Rewind is here because of her, so Definitely. we just wanted to 
shout out. Adele, we love you. We love you, Adele. Yeah. So, Bill, what are, what's uh, what's going on right now? I mean, right now, at this event, this is about a friend of yours. Right, right. This is uh, the SoCal Metal Fest 2. Mm-hmm. Um, the first one last year, um, it was it was a great show. It, Bloodgood headlined that one for us. It was a great experience, a lot of fun. And it was also the last time that I, I got to see a really good friend of mine, uh, Dale Huffman. Uh, um, and he's the reason we're having this uh, tribute, actually, today, and, and somewhat of a benefit for the family because Dale lost his battle with cancer earlier this year. So. So he's gone home to he the Lord. He has gone home to the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's been, uh, I've talked to in several talented musicians today and, and they, that knew Dale. Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't know him personally. I probably met Dale, but um, I didn't really know him. Yeah. But he definitely was a man of God who was very inspiring in the midst of uh, his battle. Very, very much so. I mean, he ran that Metal Pulse radio show uh, for about eight to 10 years, somewhere in that range. And he... He introduced me to a lot of bands. He'd be sending bands my way and having them. Uh, it was a good connection for me, but he was just such a good man. I could talk to him and he would, I could be in the worst mood, having the worst day. And he just said, you want me to pray for you? And he'd get on the phone and start praying with me. And I just, he was such a good man to a lot of people. So he's wow. definitely lost, but we all know he's in a far better place right yes, now. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's the thing about us Christians. We know where we're going. Exactly. So yeah. uh, I think, you know, from the bottom of our, our hearts and as as well as we can express it, we, we we just want you to know Jesus. We yeah. just want you to know Jesus, and and um, you know you can do that by by asking God to reveal Himself to you. So, and it's important, yeah. very important, very important, and it really changes your life in a great way. Yep. Yeah. So uh, Christians rock too, by the way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we absolutely. rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is one of the latest things you're doing? Is um, a vengeance you mentioned that we just put out the vengeance reissue we uh there was a band called fear not uh if you remember in the let's say early yeah. 90s okay. they were on they were on pachyderm records and the band was really wanting to do a 25th anniversary ish reissue that one was really cool but they they didn't even know if they owned the rights to their music so i had to reach out to john elefante because that was his label right and right right he gave us permission to go for it so now we're gonna do that one at the end of the year good um, for you john love you john <laughs> you guys are good good people yeah so, um, so that's that's it. We got uh, some anniversary issues next year. We're working on from the band Christovox, if you remember them. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, hoping to do some more Bloodgood reissues and a Vengeance reissue next year. I'm gonna just talk to Adele and you talk about to doing Adele. some vinyl. Yeah. So, <laughs> need to do some more Bloodgood vinyl. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. Yeah. So uh, you know, I'm excited about um, I'm excited about life. Yeah. Uh, I am, uh, and I think you, you. It's possible. It really is possible if you. If you put things in order, and the first order is to love Jesus. <laughs> Most definitely. <Absolutely. laughs> you know, love God, God first, and then everybody else after that. But he's the one that sets us on the right path. He develops us into right. people that, you know. Yep. Yep. Can't do are, 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 It's like it's natural to be a Christian. It's, it's unnatural it really not to be. Exactly. You know, to be, to be un or separated from God or not know God. Man, you guys are struggling, and you don't even know it. So, yep. I, I mean so to say true. that with the the most amount of love that I can get out of my heart, but I can't even compare to the way that Jesus would love you. Yeah. So, so how? What else is going on in your life? Your family uh, okay? Everything good? I just found out my daughter is pregnant. So. Well, you're gonna be a grandpa. <laughs> uh, I've actually got a couple already. Oh, you're already a grandpa. Already one, but oh, I got, well, got yeah, a new boom. one coming. Bam. <laughs> yeah. So being a grandpa is one of my favorite things in the world right now. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I have four daughters, and with those four daughters, I've now got four grandkids, and working on number five. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. And your grandpa. Good stuff. Yep. They call you grandpa or papa? Papa. They call me papa. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. my wife and I are doing good. We've been working a lot doing this. She helps me all the time with this. I mean, if it wasn't for her, half of the stuff wouldn't get done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's, well, that's good to have your wife a, in your corner. Essential component. You yes. Know? <laughs> yeah, God again knows what He's doing yeah. there. So anyway, so I'm I'm just happy to to see you, be with you. Thank you so much. And for thank her. you for for uh, all of your work and your contributions. To help get the music out there, and yeah, thank and you. I know that there's a lot behind the scenes that takes place there. Right. Yeah, we so. we love just getting it out there. I mean, we just also released the Holy Soldier 25th anniversary of their last train album tonight, 
uh, Terry Russell from yeah, Terry. Is, he's here signing a few copies, and he just was just telling me, man, it's so good that there's somebody out there trying to get this music out to the people and let them yeah. be able to hear it. So it's I'm happy to be doing it. I feel, I saw, I feel I called saw, to be there. I saw so. Terry singing tonight. He was doing he great. Does good, that, huh? Oh yeah. Uh, now um, the the name of that album was what? Uh, the Holy Soldier Last Train is the did, new did album. Did David Sefiro produce that he did. one? He did. Well, there's a frontline artist, David Sefiro, yep. who produced That's true. Holy Soldier. Now, what label were they? They weren't frontline. They were on... It's escaping me at the moment. I'll have to... Um... Okay. But David Sefiro... Mir, 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 mir. Okay. Mir, yeah. Mir. Oh, yeah. Word. Yeah, word. Yeah, word. So David Sefiro did produce that. He did. And, uh, yeah... I remember those days. Yeah. David's turned out to be quite a great producer, he has. actually. I've heard a lot of his stuff. Yeah. He is amazing. Yeah. yeah. You guys still work with him too, don't you? From time to time? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean yeah. Well he he mastered the uh danger uh dangerously, dangerously close. close. Oh yeah. good. Oh that album is awesome too, by yeah. the way. It sounds great. So we're trying to remix the uh All Stand Together album that we did. Okay. And I actually got David to play a couple things. So I'm going to try to get him really to play cool. a little bit more and maybe, get, yeah, but he just moved back to Nashville. So I, I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, hey, you know, yeah. what else we got to do? Make yep. music. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for having me today. It was great it. having you. Bill rocks and we know it. <laughs> Frontline Records Rewind. Peace out.